Hey y'all, welcome back to the kitchen for another episode of What's Cooking with the Bear. Today, we're going to be making one of my kind of homebrew recipes. I call it cheeseburger casserole. Um, it's just something that I threw together years ago. Uh, enjoyed it so much that uh, I continue to make it. So, uh, it's one of them things that, you know, you get hungry for something and you just start throwing stuff together and lo and behold, it turns out great. So, I figured I might as well share it with y'all. So, sit back, relax, uh, and I'll get to cooking. All right, y'all. Let's get this started here. We're going to uh, we'll get some heat under our pan here. We're going to brown up our hamburger. This is about a uh, pound and three quarter, maybe a little more than that. But, uh, and this is the cheap burger. So it's going to, it's going to cook down some. So, but. Alright. That kind of broke up. And I'm going to go ahead, and this is a medium onion. It's kind of sliced and diced a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there. Get that cooking up. And I like to use a little bit of the total seasoning. Seasoning all. Throw that in there. And, of course, got to have a little pepper. So. Alright. I'm going to throw a lid on this. Get it browning up. And uh, once that gets all mostly done we'll uh, bring you all back all right y'all you can see the burgers basically done it's all browned uh, kind of crumbly uh, I did go ahead and add about two tablespoons of minced garlic to it so now I'm gonna add two cans of mushrooms because I like my mushroomy this is gonna be like a kind of a mushroom onion burger type deal so all right got those in there and I'm gonna leave the lid off so that it'll cook down you know and get rid of a lot of that liquid so uh, yeah awesome awesome so all right uh, go ahead and do that oh um one well, right here i'm gonna add some we're having mushroom onion bacon cheeseburger so i'm gonna go ahead and add my bacon give that flavor we're gonna add a little more why not can't go wrong with bacon right so there we added more Get that kind of work down in there. My pan almost overfloweth. But it'll be alright. Because that's what we want. Alright. So, alright. I'm going to let that cook down. And uh, we'll bring you guys back after uh, most of that liquid's gone. Oh, y'all, I almost forgot the most important part here. You know, we got steak seasoning. Gonna add that to it too. Just to give it some flavor. So, we want to try to mimic, you know, a uh, hamburger off the grill. So, you know. That, uh, that steak season there has a little bit of like smoky flavor to it so you know and the bacon has some smoky flavor so all right there we go now we can let it uh, let that liquid cook out of there so all right now we can bring you back all right y'all 
99.9% of that liquid's gone. So we're going to take just a handful of cheese and kind of mix it in here just to kind of get it a little cheesy. Because we're going to top it with cheese too. But uh, you guys see here I've got some hash browns there I kind of threw in the air fryer and browned up. Now I normally like to use uh, the hash brown patties. Um, just it seems like they get a little crunchier, you know. But uh, I didn't have any. The store was actually out of them, if you can believe that. But, you know, I guess it's a weekend thing. So, all right. All right, we got that cheese all melty. And I did pre, I'm pre and pre eating my oven to 350 degrees. So, I'm just going to spoon this over them taters because you got to have french fries with your tater or with your burger, you know? Burger and fries, right? So, Goodness out of there. Alright. So got that all in there. Pretty evenly distributed. Distrib distributed. Get rid of that pan. Now we're gonna put some extra cheese on here. Like that. A nice layer. Because, you know, got the melty cheese on the cheeseburger. <clears throat> Alright, get that all kind of moved around there. Kind of pat it down. Now, we got to put a bun on this thing. So, we got some biscuits here. We're going to kind of peel them so they're thin. We're just going to layer them on there. Because you don't want to use them, you know, whole, I guess. Uh, it gets too thick and the tops will brown and the bottoms won't cook, so... Take our biscuits, and you can use the flaky biscuits if you want. I like just the regular buttermilk biscuits. I think they're, I think they taste better. So, got that. And if you don't like the mushrooms and onions, you can uh, leave them out. Still use your steak seasoning and stuff, but uh, add ketchup and mustard. It actually doesn't sound like it would taste very good, but I promise you, it does. So, right, right, right. One more biscuit here. So, all right. There we go. There's our bun. So. I'll let the oven finish warming up, and uh, we will get this thing a bacon. So when we, uh, I'll pop it in the oven off camera, and I'm gonna bake it for at 350 for about 15 minutes, something like that. Uh, 12 to 15. Check it if they're not browned. Put it in a little longer. So, all right, we'll bring y'all back after we get that done. All right, y'all. We just pulled that out of the oven, so. I'm going to let it sit for just a little bit to kind of cool off and let it everything kind of gel or con condense or whatever you want to call it. I don't know all the technical terms, but um, there we have it. So uh, we'll let it cool off a little bit, and then we'll uh, do our taste test. All right, y'all. 
we let this cool a bit probably not long enough but it smells so good and I'm hungry so we're just gonna get down in here and get us some of this out so oh cheesiness oh that's why I like using the hash brown patties you know because you kind of get a layer of the potatoes but you know this is good enough so all right let's get the uh, camera turned around here and uh, we'll do our little tasty test so hang on all right y'all let's do a little tasty test here now this is gonna be really really hot so um, I might have to so hang on really really hot but really really good so you know I'm gonna do the normal thing take another bite mm. that's awesome mm. it actually tastes like a cheeseburger off the grill um, you got your buns the bread you got your french fries down there you know on the bottom and then the gooey gooeyness in the middle awesome and like I said you don't have to use the onions and the mushrooms like I did, but that's kind of I like. I've even done that with Swiss cheese. Made a mushroom Swiss burger. It's awesome. If you're, you know, if you're just plain old, you know, regular old cheeseburger with mushroom or with uh, ketchup and mustard and, you know, all that on it, by all means, put just some ketchup and mustard in there. Do that. You can put pickles in there. You can put the hot peppers in there. Anything you want. Whatever. You know, just the, it's the basic hamburger and, you know, the seasoning, the, the steak seasoning to give it that, you know, burger taste, you know, the grill taste. Line the bottom with, you know, your choice of potatoes. You can even use french fries if you want. Um, but like I said, I like the hash brown patties because, and I pre-cook them to get them crispy, crunchy, you know, like a french fry. But, yeah, put them on there. Awesome. So, anyways, I'm rambling, but uh, you all love me for that anyways. But... You all have a great day, and I uh, hope you try this recipe. Please hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. If you're over to the channel, please make sure you're still subscribed. If you would, go down there and hit that thumbs up button. You know, help play into the algorithm. But uh, So, anyways, love you all, and uh, as always, bear appetite.